Welcome to Shortcut Reviews, where we just get to the point. And today, we'll be looking at a Chinese-produced, budget-friendly Kershaw knife called the Pico. The Pico is an all-steel constructed 4.1 ounce knife that has an overall length of 7.1 inches. Here it is next to a dollar bill, next to the Zebra 402 pen, compared to another EDC classic, the Rat Model 2 by Ontario, and lastly, the all familiar Spider Codelica. As you can see, they all have similar blade length. The Pico has a nice bit of belly that makes it a nice cutter. It is heavier than either of those two knives, being all steel construction. It is a speed safe designed flipper knife that does equally well with the light switch or push button technique. There is a little bit of jimping for the light switch. There's also a little bit of jimping on the back of the blade. The blade stock is very thin at one point two inches, very similar to the RAT Model 2. The grinds are stone washed, the flats are polished, there is a swedge on top which makes the blade nicely rounded at the top, so often inexpensive blades are not, very, are not finished very well on the spine. The flat works really well for sharpening systems that that clamp onto the blade uh, easier than the full flat grind ones are. And this blade will spend some time on your sharpening system. The best thing we can say about its steel, which is 8CR13MOV, which is a Chinese budget steel, is that it does sharpen well. This knife also carries well. It comes with a deep pocket clip. It sits very deep in the pocket. where only the lanyard hole remains showing. That lanyard hole could have a piece of paracord forced through it. And it does reside within the Zytel spacer, which takes up about half the back of the knife. A nicely formed Zytel spacer there, and so there's no fear of the blade cutting the cord. The rest is left open. You can see the two layers on the show side, which contain the spring that actually runs the speed safe system. The speed safe system basically uses a spring to hold it closed. Once you get to the point of no return, the blade flies open. It's a well executed speed safe. The blade does not feel like it's going to jump out of the hand because it's so strong, nor is it very hard to close one handed. So just really well done. Locks up at about 50% every time. The only downside uh, that I see in this knife is uh, one is the clip is actually mounted just to the scale. So it's a little bit difficult sometimes to get past. It in jeans, never a problem in khakis. Uh, a file could fix that by putting a little ramp on it. That would make it easy. Blade center came excellent from the factory. And it's a slippery knife. There's no finishing on the steel handles. Okay, so it is a light use knife. A three and a half finger in my medium hands light use knife. Um, not really many hot spots, just not super secure, but it is nice in the pocket. When you reach past it, there's nothing to rip up the back of your hand. The flipper hangs well out of the way of your hand travel when you go to your phone or your keys. It's small in the pocket, pretty thin height-wise, uh, actually pretty thin width-wise as well. It's just a little bit heavy for its size, but again, it's because it's steel, not titanium or aluminum um, handles but lots up nice on its bronze bushings. Taken apart by standard torque screws as well as being able to remove the clip with standard torque screws. It is tip up only, but right or left handed. There's a little flourish in the pivot, but it is not a specialty screw uh, bit required to open that. It is a standard torque, just like everything else. A great budget knife at $16 is what I paid for it. 
It's also a great gift knife with an area here to be engraved if you want and uh, cheap enough that you can afford to give them to friends and family. So again, I give this a two thumbs up. Thanks. Okay, this is my first review, so please put comments on how I could improve the reviews. Thank you.